don't want the year to close out with saying, um, I was very, very um, elated by seeing the uh, Lincoln football team and its coach. And I, 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 it's something that, that I think that I need to say as an Afro-American woman and mother, the way Afro-American males are handled by Afro-American men are much different than the way most people will handle male children. Our children are a unique entity within themselves, socially, economically, and for many other reasons. Um, we're continuously getting different complaints about this coach that, Afro-American coaches, and this coach that. I want everyone to start looking at the way our children are being handled by these coaches, and that ultimately, the goal of that coach is to make them be competitive, but also to make them strong black males. And it is not by patting them on the head and saying, Johnny, you're doing a good boy, a good job, or Johnny, you should do that. They have their ways of doing it, the way my father did as a DI in the Marine Corps, and the way a lot of other folks did it. It may not be the style in which the school district may like it, but the ultimate goal is to make our men, boys men. And so I'm saying that because I want us to digest that, think about that when we come back here in January, that all that you see and, and try to, to mislabel it and call it something else, it's a job that they call manning up. They're manning our boys up to become men and be able to walk in this, in this society that they have to walk into. They're forcing them to do the academics and they're also forcing them to grow up and to be men in situations many times where there's no man other than that role model they have as a coach. And this is my own personal opinion. It's not a board opinion. This is Francis Thompson's opinion. And I just want everybody to start looking at the way my men, Afro-American men, are viewing the young men that they have in front of them. That's part of our mentoring process. We don't have all the mentors in place. So at this point, we're looking at the educational system to help us to, to formulate and reform form the, the, our young male mind. These boys in sports are not in games. These boys in sports are not on drugs. These boys in sports, and why? Why? It's from grammar school to high school that these different coaches, even non-Afro-American coaches, have worked with these boys to keep them focused, going in the right direction to mature them as men. So please, administrators and everybody else, stop handing me this petty junk that this coach did that to this kid and this coach did that to him. Is the kid still doing well? Is the school still well moving forward? Has the child been emotionally damaged? And if that hasn't happened, I don't want to hear it.